And we thought that vegan teacher could not get any worse. We have some more videos of her forcing people to be vegan. And she's still not giving up on the fact that she can't make her dog go vegan. And she's still just being a genuinely terrible person. Now, in my last two vegan teacher videos, uh, how about we just say uh, they, they, they did pretty good. So I know this is a shot in the dark, but if we could get 5,000 likes on this video, uh, that'd be pretty epic. I know it's insane, but uh, I reckon we can do it. Now, that vegan teacher has around 1.2 million followers now, which again, like why? She's gained 200,000 followers in the time that I've made a video on her, which is literally insane. Now, finally, after all the hate that she's been getting, she's finally decided to turn off her comments. Well, she hasn't completely turned them off, but she's limited them to people who are vegan animal rights activists and people who basically defend her no matter what she does, which is just such a bad look. And I honestly hate reading those comments now. Like, it's just so brain dead. I'll get to them in a minute, but uh, we, we gotta watch the videos and then we'll look at the comments because the comments is half the problem. Like, the oh my, I, I genuinely think the people who comment are worse than that vegan teacher. Actually, I don't know, to be honest. They're all as brain dead as each other. So this first video we have today is probably the most annoying that we're going to look at. So basically she made a TikTok a few weeks ago talking about how apparently no matter your health conditions are, uh, that isn't an excuse to not go vegan. And that's already bad enough because people who have health conditions that make them can't go vegan are already in a bad enough state. And you shaming them for not going vegan is just completely disgusting. And I literally despise anyone who does that. And she was basically just being a complete a-hole to people with health conditions, which is honestly, it's just disgusting. Like I, I can't say anything else about that. And a TikToker that I know of, but I can't really remember his name, basically reacted to that TikTok, naming off a bunch of health conditions that make it so people can't go vegan. You know, just doing the logical thing that normal people would do. So after that vegan teacher watches this video, you might think that she realizes, hey, maybe there are reasons people can't go vegan and maybe I should stop what I'm doing, forcing people to go vegan day in, day out when it's literally not doing anything. But no, of course not. It's that vegan teacher. Are you again? Phone guardian, mobile security. Protect your devices from hackers stealing your personal information person who always says that they can Okay, first of all, your generation needs to toughen up. There is no excuse for animal abuse. Try harder. Stop lying to yourself. Anyone can strive to be vegan. Guess what, Karen? That's incorrect. People with health conditions can't go vegan, and I don't understand what goes through your head to think that that's not true. How many videos and how many reactions does it take for you to realize that people with health conditions are not going to go vegan just because you say so? No one's going to listen to you if you keep abusing people and you keep abusing your power. Like, no no one cares. If someone has a health condition, they're not going to listen to you and go vegan. That's just not how it works. Do it because of health reasons. What health reasons exactly? Oh my god, I can't be bothered. Just completely belittling every single health condition that makes it so you can't go vegan. I, I'm getting annoyed already. Like, she's just so annoying. You know, it's strange. I've never ever heard an actual health reason to not be vegan. What? are you on about? How long have you been on this planet? Probably like 50 something years. And you're trying to tell me you've never heard one health condition that makes it so you can't go vegan. And if they have a vitamin B12 deficiency, if they have an iron deficiency, if they have a zinc deficiency, if they have irritable bowel syndrome, if they're allergic to nuts, if they're allergic to soy, or they medically have to be on a low carb diet. What? What is she doing? So this guy's basically listing off a bunch of health conditions that make it so you can't go vegan. And she's here nodding her head like, oh no, that's not an excuse. Oh. Bro, this is just triggering. I don't know why I'm doing this. this plants are mainly based on carbs. You've never heard of any of those? Your name's that vegan teacher. No one's ever brought that up. To Not an excuse, you weak little snowflake. How are you gonna call people snowflakes when you get all offended when people go, oh, I'm having steak today. You're the biggest snowflake here. I don't know what you're on about. Considering that you're calling someone a snowflake, I think it's really weird. How in my last vegan teacher video, you reacted to someone saying that it was good that they were being sensitive, AKA a snowflake. So you like people who are sensitive and are basically being snowflakes, but you are calling someone else a snowflake. Like, like, keep to your word. What are you doing? You're not making any sense. Oh, you have a nut allergy? Boo-hoo. Eat the almonds. The cows matter more. <laughs> True, true. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can go away. And now this video is just uh, basically that vegan teacher reacting to her own kind, basically a Karen at a fast food store. So yeah, le let's have a look at this one. Today our actress will serve the wrong dish to a random woman in a restaurant. Today on What Would You Do? Bring out the waitress. Here's your dish, man. Thanks. Miss, come here. Please tell me this is vegan chicken. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Please tell me this is vegan chicken. Basically, every vegan Karen's first response to any sort of dish. Oh, that's not vegan chicken. Well, I didn't ask for a side of murder. Oh, go away. Like, I don't care. Again, killing animals for food is not murder. But I think that vegan teacher understands the problems that would happen in the world if everyone were to go vegan. I've explained it so many times in my other two videos, but like, seriously, like what? And look at this reaction. Like, 
Come on. With my salad. Murder? Do you want your head to be ripped off like the little chicken ripped off the assembly line to make my salad? Oh, God, legit, just go away. I, I, oh, my God. Every video I watch of her just makes me dislike her more and more every single time. And now this is one that just triggers me. Vegan since August 2017, and she's showing a picture of her dog. A bunch of people put petitions in my comments and basically saying hashtag save Bella in my comments below. I completely agree with that, and if you want to do that again, that's completely fine. And I highly recommend that people do that, trying to save Bella, because what that vegan teacher is doing is literally disgusting. This is disgusting. This is actually disgusting. I don't think that vegan teacher actually understands the difference between dogs and cows. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure dogs eating grass is not a good thing. I, I might be wrong, okay? I might be wrong. And please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, because I'm, I'm actually not sure about that. just go away like it's it's not even funny or like edgy at this point it's just annoying like what do i say and now we have another one. Oh, it's basically the same thing I do not think that that dog could look more sad than it is right now. Please, can someone take this dog away and actually give her a good life? Like, Jesus. I could not imagine being a dog and living with that vegan teacher. That would be awful. Hello, students and vegan animal rights activists. This is a reminder to you. You are not responsible for somebody else's psychological problems. If somebody tries to tell you that you are triggering their eating disorder, I invite you to show them this page. Oh my god, legit go away. Just stop. Stop invading people's health conditions and mental health conditions. Like it's just it's just long at this point. Like you're not doing anything good. You think that you're helping the world. You're just not. You're making it worse for everyone else. Listen, I understand if you're vegan, okay, and you don't want to hurt animals. That's completely fine. Like I have nothing wrong with that. And again, I'll say it again. People like her are not okay. Forcing people to go vegan and treating health conditions like they're nothing just because you want to have your little animal rights activist party. Like, here's some news, Karen. If someone has a health condition, they're not gonna care what you say. Like, oh my god. From the Mayo Clinic, invite them to get the psychological help that they need. You cannot provide that help. Your job is to stand up for the animals. The billions of chickens, cows, pigs, and fish around this globe who are abused every single second of every single day. If somebody else tries to tell you, well, because you told me I shouldn't be eating bacon, the dead body of an innocent pig, I'm now going to eat 10 slices. That too is not your responsibility. They need to do their part and be better. No, they're, they're not going to be better. They're good enough. And if someone's eating meat, then that's good for them. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh my God. I'm actually getting, I'm actually like genuinely getting annoyed at this. Like, I don't know why it's so petty, but it's just so annoying. All right. I think I've had enough of that vegan teacher for today. Just genuinely a terrible person. Like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, honestly, honestly, at this point, like th th there's, there's no hope for her. She's not coming back from what she's doing. Why can't we have that vegan teacher back before she was vegan? She's basically just put a virus on TikTok. And by the way, if you want to see the comments on this video, like it's honestly insane. So this is one of the comments on that video that I showed before of this guy who basically listed off a bunch of health conditions. So from Rescued Friends, oh, I, I, what, 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 what a wholesome Instagram page or TikTok page or whatever. Really? What are these people thinking? It's truly disturbing what goes through the minds of people. Go vegan, green heart emojis. What a great comment from such a brain dead person. Good thing the internet is forever, lol. Oh yeah, I bet we're going to get this guy in the future because every Everyone definitely agrees with that vegan teacher here. You could probably say good thing the internet is forever for the vegan teacher because seriously, the amount of stuff that she's done is worse than Jay Station. Using allergies as an excuse for animal cruelty. It's not animal cruelty. That's how the food chain works. And if you can't get through that through your head, then whatever, be vegan. But don't force it onto other people. I have a few symptoms of what he said, but, and I'm still vegan because veganism is not a diet. Well, good for you. If you want to be vegan, go on to it. But no one cares if you want to force other people to go vegan. No one's going to listen to you. Okay, I'm done. I'm actually getting really annoyed at this now. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video and uh, you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. If you don't click all notifications, then uh, you won't get any notifications and you're basically subscribing for no reason. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. Follow my socials. All links will be in the description. Thank you to all my channel members. Your support really helps out the channel and it, ju it just really helps me out, to be honest. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.